Today we need to talk about Jimin wanting to get work done. We also need to talk about the rumors of Jimin and an actress and what has happened. And lastly, we need to talk about people asking for an apology for something people did to Jimin. So hey dumplings, it's Dave Desa. Hate it or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your dumpling and hey smelling mug merch and let's go. There's been some drama with a celebration that occurred over Jimin's birthday. If you are unaware, Jimin's birthday is October 13th and there is a fan site which I don't want to name because I don't really think it's their fault and I don't want them to get more hate. But they hosted an event in which they had a bunch of Jimin supporters come by and they played Jimin songs. Fan clubs do this all the time and it's just a celebration. Obviously they don't expect Jimin to show up and I believe these fan clubs are non-profits. So they just raise money from maybe these events or donations and it was just supposed to be a celebration for Jimin. There were a few clips that went viral that people had an issue with and I want to start with the smaller ones. People were upset that there seemed to be only a few Jimin songs that were played and the majority of it was just other members songs. So there was a clip of Seven being played and this was a controversy. People were upset about this because it's only supposed to be a Jimin event and only Jimin songs. The fan club owners did come out and issue an apology with various issues that were happening online and all of which we will go over. But they addressed that there were definitely songs being played and the majority of the songs were Jimin songs. Now they didn't say what I'm about to say but Jimin obviously wouldn't have a problem with sharing the spotlight or his event with other members and we've seen that with each members inviting other members to their events and or sharing the stage with their fellow members even when they don't have to. So just because another member's song is being played does not equate to disrespect of Jimin and I think this is the first and foremost thing that needs to be addressed because some people in the fandom get so overly protective about a specific solo member that they don't see that none of the members are specific attention whores that need everything to just be about them. And if that was the case, why would they want to rejoin BTS again in 2025? The second issue and probably the main issue that got everything trending and people saying the fan club needs to apologize, apparently a person brought along a Taekook flag to the event. Now you might be like, well David, you said that other members should be allowed. Why is this drama? And I agree except the internet was quite upset over what they think shipping tends to mean and specifically the ongoing war with the ships. So bringing not the members photos but the idea of shipping to an event and stuff that has caused Jimin severe death threats is the issue as this is supposed to be a celebratory event for Jimin and something that he could look at if he were to find the video footage of but now is an event that has maybe a more negative association with it. The fan club did issue an apology for allowing a person to come in with this flag and to wave it around at an event but then talks about how they did try to have the person take it down but the person ultimately came back and waved it again. The internet then blamed the staff for not doing anything and or blamed the staff for seeing it again and not taking it down. This is where the issue I am having comes from because everyone's social media feed is so different and is such an echo chamber and the way some of these people who are trending hate have such a small closed mind that they don't realize the world doesn't see the same thing. They see nor revolves around their opinions. There's a big possibility, not saying it's true because they had attempted to take the flag down, but the fan club owners could be not even aware that the shipping issue is an issue because that could happen to another fan club. They could literally just not be aware. So they see a cute photo and be like, oh, this is Jimin's friends. Let's have that too. And then suddenly when clips go online, they get death threats. I see this issue a lot where fans believe because a specific drama that is all over their feed is also all over everyone else's feed and drama that is not on their feed is a complete lie because they've never seen it and that's always the argument. How come I've never seen it? That's when they accuse news sites who report on things that they didn't know about as liars. But that's why you read the news to learn about things you didn't know about. We wouldn't know about any news, anything that happens in the world without news sites. So that argument makes no sense to me. So the idea here is that these people in fandoms never want to learn something new nor would they ever take in something new. Social media sites do a very good job of creating what is called an echo chamber. It reflects only your interests and rarely would show you something new. If you're only interested in watching videos about ships and only ships, it would never show you anything else. It's your job to actively seek out new perspectives and information just so your feed will have news from everywhere and you can be well-rounded. For example, I don't just watch or read liberal news. I like to read conservative news as well so I understand where both sides are coming from. We all owe it to Jimin to 
understand a lot of things and be well-rounded because this means when he puts out music, we can understand them better and where he is coming from. You rarely ever see someone who is intelligent sit there and start internet drama with a celebrity they've never met because they see a possible different perspective. And Jimin is very intelligent. He is very well-rounded. So we owe it to him to be that so we can understand the art that he puts out. There was another piece of drama that happened when people were saying that Jimin was talking about getting work done and wanted a form of cosmetic or plastic surgery. It's not really, but I can see why people are saying that. And this topic started to resurface as Jimin is believed to be entering the military and might have time to do it during that period. A while ago, Jimin talked about wanting his teeth fixed. He has a misaligned tooth, which honestly I never even noticed until he said it, but he wants to get that fixed and that's something he seems insecure about. So braces, basically. He said this during a live stream before and people have been very upset that he wants that fix because they feel like it's a standard of beauty that he is trying to reach and feels insecure because he's not quote unquote perfect. My cliche answer here is that we should love ourselves and it shouldn't matter and clearly it doesn't matter because he has been very successful in his career even though he doesn't have fully straight teeth. However, this sentiment has been echoed so much by armies already so I want to bring up a new point. So Jimin, my message to you even though you won't see it, don't get your teeth done as it distinguishes you from other people. It's actually a selling point when there's a sort of quote unquote flaw. Whether it's a gap tooth or something like that, we've seen this even on America's Next Top Model where one model was asked to widen her gap tooth because it made her look different. And I'm against getting those sorts of things done for no good reason, but it serves as a more of an exaggerated example of how sometimes having a flaw actually makes you more marketable. And those things are what separates you from the model or singer next door. So please don't get it done. Jimin also has a lot of drama surrounding him already and it's very sad to see because Jimin doesn't even have to do anything and people around him are getting hurt. So what happened and who was hurt? There's an actress named Song Daeun and she has been accused of dating Jimin. She is literally just living her life and posting whatever she wants but accused of dating Jimin from allegedly wearing the same necklace to watching a show that Jimin had recommended a while ago. Just a lot of those really silly things. Now there's two divisions of this drama. A lot of people have either left comments on the actress's Instagram or wherever leaving death threats and really terrible things and then the other half every time this is reported says that she is purposely doing these things to show that she is dating Jimin and that actually no one is accusing her of dating Jimin. The actress has even given several statements to say that the dating isn't real and every time she does that people accuse her of making up drama just so she can leave her statement and get clout off of BTS's name. To that I want to say it makes no sense. In either scenario whether she is actually getting threats from the rumors or she is getting threats from making up that she is getting death threats. She is getting threats. This is not the type of clout you can do anything with. You don't get fans from this. If anything, you might lose fans. And then every time you do an interview or do anything, all of the comments under that are going to be comments accusing her of creating a fake Jimin dating rumor. This halts her career. Not everyone wants this type of clout, especially if you intend on continuing to have an acting career. And basically every news site that has reported on this drama has comments under there that say that she is making up the death threats. However, one, you can see it on our social media, and two, this goes back to what I was saying earlier. People live in this small bubble, and everything outside this bubble is just a lie. What bothers me even more in this scenario is that the rumors and what people are saying about Jimin and Song Dae Yoon is literally Googleable. Meaning, a quick Google search, everything will pop up screenshots, receipts, tweets from people, everything. So, why not just do that instead of leaving these comments? Either calling the news a liar or calling Song Dae Yoon a liar. She did formally put out another statement to deny the rumors. And and I believe her. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.